Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. On today's show, we've got all the highlights from this weekend's IFSC Bouldering World Cup in Nanjing, China. The temperatures were hot and humid in China for the bouldering finals. With little shade available on the wall, the athletes had to use all of their experience to cope with the tricky conditions. In the women's comp, Japan's Miho Nanaka managed two tops, including the tricky slab on problem three. She picked up the bronze medal for her efforts. Second and first place once again came down to Britain's Shauna Coxie versus Slovenian climber Janja Garnbrett. Garnbrett started strongly with a flash on the double dyno on problem one. She worked out problem two but couldn't climb the slab on boulder three, although she managed an impressive one-arm pull-up move on the final boulder to top it. Meanwhile, Coxie flashed problem two and worked out the solution to the slab that had stopped Garnbrett. She then climbed the final problem to put her back on the top of the podium, a well-deserved gold medal. It was all changed this week for the men's competition. Slovenian climber Jerne Kruder has never been on the podium at a World Cup bouldering event. He managed two tops and flashed problem two. His effort secured him his first ever bronze medal. Japan's Toma Narasaki managed a crazy cartwheel move on problem one, but couldn't climb the second boulder. He finished strongly though with a flash on the crimpy last problem. It was a great performance, but he was pushed into second place by his teammate, Japan's Kita Watabe. Watabe used all his powers to climb the second boulder and topped all the rest, gaining him his first IFSC victory. Let's check out the standings after Nanji. Shauna Coxie still leads the women's competition with 280 points, followed by Yanya Garnbrett on 227 points, while Miho Nanaka is in third with 167 points. In the men's table, Kita Watabe is now leading with 220 points, with Zhong Wonchon in second with 183 points, and Tomoa Narasaki in third with 169 points. Keep with us for all the highlights of next week's IFSC World Cup in Japan. Now, if that's got you psyched for some bouldering, you might want to check out this week's Pick of the Week. This week's pick of the week is the Tanaya Mundaka climbing shoe, an aggressive sport climbing and bouldering shoe worn by rock stars such as Alex Magos, that we're selling for 139 euro at the Epic TV shop. The Mundaka is aggressively downturned and is designed to deliver constant power throughout the foot. It has SXR dynamics built in, so the rand stays vertical when you put pressure through the shoe, channeling power to the toes and allowing the climber more precision when climbing. The Vibram XS Grip 2 rubber is a tried and tested favourite that won't let you down. The shoe features Tanaya's Drax Store closing system, which is a unique Velcro strap, allowing the climber lots of adjustment and customisation. It has a soft midsole section, which gives extra sensitivity for the toes, and this translates to outstanding toe hooking performance, perfect for overhanging routes. Although the shoe is sensitive, the thick and stiff toe section means it's excellent for edging on barely there footholds. If you aim for the hard and overhanging climbs, the Tanaya Mundaka are well worth checking out. Awesome shoes for hard bouldering and sport climbing. Make sure you grab them while you can. Thanks for watching, see you soon.